Hey everybody. So a few weeks back I created a video to show you how to create spiral text in Corel Draw. So I've got a couple more little things I want to show you. So, so I thought I'd just create a short little video and show you a couple more things. So like before, we're going to create a box. We'll change it to 8 inches by 0.3 inches. Then we're going to right click on it, convert it to curves, grab our shape tool, grab these little nodes and arrow them up 10 spaces. We'll arrow this one down 10 spaces. Now we've got our wedge shape again. We'll fill that with the color, right click to take the stroke away, and we'll just move it over here a little bit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our Bezier pen, or we can take our two point line pen. We'll click and we'll drag in a straight line and we'll create a line and we'll make that line about 10 inches long. Then we'll grab our text tool and we'll type out some text again. And we'll change that to about 12 points. And we'll change fonts to one of the college fonts. Then we'll just click and drag and right click to make a copy. Now that we have our text, we're going to come up here and we're going to click on fit text to path. We're going to come over here and we're going to fit that text onto this line that we created. And then we're going to come over here to the orientation of the text, choose this last one. And now the text is vertical. We can grab our shape tool and we can spread that out just a little bit. And now you can see we have vertical text here. We can right click on this, convert to curves, bring our text over. Then we want to rotate it. And now we want to bring it up here, click on the green path, click on the text, click on our template. Now we have vertical text that's in the wedge shape. We can choose our artistic media, drag that over, drop it in, make a brush. And we'll call that number eight. Actually, we'll call it, and we'll just put a V1 for vertical text. Save that. So now when we draw out the spiral, come down and we apply that new one we just created. We need to reverse the direction. Click on the shape tool. Click on that little blue line. Reverse the direction. And now we've got vertical text on a spiral. We can choose our artistic media brush and we can make that thicker. And like before, we can blow that up and then come in here in the middle and fix that little point in the middle that always gives us trouble. Delete that extra point. Drag these out a little bit. And there we go. So now we have, we've created some vertical text and applied the vertical text to our spiral, just like we did with our other spiral text. So now we can do the spiral text with the vertical text, and now we can do spiral text with the horizontal text. Another thing you can do with these brushes is you can apply them to a circle shape, or you can apply them to a square shape. And if you choose a circle and you pick, say you pick the text that we just made, it'll apply it to the circle. But you'll notice that the starting and the end points are touching where you have a little bit of space here between each occurrence of the text. And also, if you change it to one of the first ones that we made, you'll see that the beginning and the end are touching here as well. So on this one, this was just straight text all the way around. But you can see that there's a space between each occurrence. But then here, where the starting and the ending point are, they touch. You can see the letters touch here. There's no space in between that one. And in Adobe Illustrator, there is a way to fix that in the brush, but I haven't been able to find a way to fix that in Corel Draw. But 
there is a way we can do a workaround. So what we can do is we can take this text, get our text tool, and then at the end, at the end of the text, what you want to do is is type a space and then type a period. And then we're just going to select that period, come up here to the to the point size of that period, change the point size of that period to 0 0.001, hit return. And now you can't even see that period, it's so small. But once we do that, convert that to curves, bring it over here to our palette, make a brush, and we'll make this one number eight since it's a horizontal text. Save that, and we'll zoom back out here. Now if we choose that, and we come down here to our brushes we created, and click on that, now you'll see since we added that little tiny little period, that space with the tiny tiny period, you'll see that now there's a space between the starting point and the ending point, just like there's a space here, here, and here. And if we zoom in on that, where that period should show up, it's so small that you can't even hardly see it. But if you look real close right there, you can barely see it sticking out. And that's with a magnification of 264,000%. So if you print that or cut vinyl or anything else, you're never gonna see that little period there. So that's a way you can work around the beginning and the end point touching when you apply that logo or whatever to a circle. You can also apply that same thing to a square and you'll see that it kind of, it's kind of weird when it gets to the corners, but if you choose your shape tool, click on that box and drag these little end points in, you can make that the ends curve and then it'll just curve around the box and you can see there's a space between the beginning and the end here, just like there's a space between the rest of these. So anyway, that's just some other ways you can use the brushes. And then just like in the previous video, we can we can select these, break them apart, and we have the graphics away from the circle or whatever shape we use to create it. Now it's just a graphic and you can apply, you know, all of your effects to it like we did before, drop shadows, gradients, colors, textures, however you want to use this, you can use all different kinds of effects on it just like any other graphic. So I guess that's about it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later.